Whenever Simon had the chance, he loved to draw. After he'd seen the moon rocket on television, he decided to design a moon rocket for himself. His friend next door didn't think much of it. That rocket will never fly. Anyway, you haven't drawn the moon. So, Simon drew the moon. And he told his friend his rocket could fly. But his friend just laughed. Next day, Simon met Henry from the land of chalk drawings. Simon, you must come. There's a strange thing in the land of chalk drawings. And Simon went along with him. There, in the middle of the land of chalk drawings, was Simon's moon rocket. This is the very latest moon rocket. I invented it myself, and I'm about to journey into space. Anyone like to come? Well, the chalk drawings didn't seem very keen. But Henry agreed to go. Simon worked the controls. There was a mighty bang, and Simon's moon rocket was off on its first journey into space. Up through the clouds they went until they approached the sun. The sun greeted them warmly. My, it's nice to have company. I get so lonely up here. Nobody bothers much these days. Well, Simon would like to have stopped longer, but he had to leave. Sorry, son, can't stop. I've got the whole universe to explore. We'll chat another time. The son watched Simon disappear. Oh, dear. I'm on my own again. Well, the rocket flew on until it reached the moon. Simon brought it down for a perfect landing. When Simon and Henry looked out, they got a nasty shock. They found themselves surrounded. Henry was dismayed. They can't fight. We're outnumbered. And he was right. They were surrounded by sons. Taken prisoner. The chief son addressed Simon. We are planning to invade the land of chalk drawings, but we need more sums. You must make them for us with these numbers. So Simon set to work making sums. And he had a clever idea. Instead of using the plus sign, he drew the takeaway sign instead. So the sum turned into nothing, just a naught. In fact, Simon turned all the sums into nothing until only the chief sum was left. Well, before the chief sum could stop them, Simon and Henry loaded all the noughts into the rocket. And now Simon took off. Up, up went the rocket and headed for home. Simon wondered what the chalk drawing people would say when they saw what he brought back from the moon. Simon smiled to himself. Perhaps they'd just say he'd brought nothing back because that's exactly what he had brought. Lots and lots of nothing. <laughs>